these luscious green fields look like they could be deep in the countryside. But in fact, this is a state-owned farm in Caracas, Venezuela's capital. Retired administrator Luisa Galvis helps to grow 30 different types of vegetable here. This is about food sovereignty, which is our responsibility. If we sow and cultivate in our own homes, nobody can come to take that away from us and nobody is going to sell it to us. We have it ourselves and so we reduce the cost of life. It's part of a national drive to boost urban farming. President Nicolas Maduro wants citizens to grow fruit and vegetables on their roofs, balconies and gardens. But it isn't just about giving people a healthy hobby. A deep economic crisis has led to food shortages, resulting in lootings and riots. Urban agriculture is a new productive culture. We were born in cities, and in cities we got used to only consume what others produce. 83% of the inhabitants of Venezuela live in cities, and only 17% live in the countryside. That means we must build an urban productive culture, necessarily new, absolutely new, that is urban agriculture. Venezuela has a vast supply of land, but agriculture fell by the wayside when oil was discovered a century ago. Now crude accounts for 94% of foreign income, meaning the fall in oil prices has hit Venezuela hard. Some of the country's new urban farmers aren't convinced Maduro's plan can feed the nation. It's illogical to have a grand plan for urban agriculture, given how fertile the land is in Venezuela. If I had to give an answer, I'd say no. I think they'll fail. But other green-fingered growers like bank worker Melitza Perez are focusing on the nutritional benefits. Everything we are planting here, herbs which are high in iron and other minerals, serve to complete the table. We're not growing to fill our stomachs, but to eat better. Organic roof gardens have become a common sight in western cities like New York. But while those are about achieving hip and healthy lifestyles, Venezuela's urban farmers are being called on to help save their country. Paul Barber, CCTV.